Hey Rook Hazer, and welcome back to the cards update. Well, the update is now in full swing. Yesterday I ended up doing the overview of the first act. Today I'm going to be getting the premium character for said first act. So I'll actually be recording this video on blue stacks. Reason being is that with my iPad, whenever I try to log in, the game crashes on me every single time. And it seems to be working on here, so I'm going to be going on here. So you might be hearing my mouse clicking and stuff of that nature. I'm sorry for that. Sometimes if you can log into another device and kind of move around a bit and then save it, so to speak, and then go to the other device that's not working, it can kick it into high gear and actually get it to work. So I'm going to try afterwards. But the premium character is going to be... Cliff! With Cliff's Car Chalet. Every 8 hours, 222 XP respectively. Consumerism rating, 150 donuts. Oh, it doesn't even fit why normally replace it. What the frick, man? This thing's huge. Yep. Heads up! Kaboom! Hey, it's what's his name? Got any donuts left? Let's talk about upgrading your ride. Cliff! Massive spoilers incoming, by the way. These are all the different characters available in this act. Or sorry, in this whole update. I'll scroll really slowly and you can check them out. Maybe you recognize some of them, maybe you don't. Alright, I see you Cliff, but... Cliff's Car Chalet! Just taking a bit of a gander and looking around at the different cars. Blue, black, green, white, orange, and then we got red in the middle or in the inside. It could either sound like cars, it could either sound like a cash register, but let's go with... Let's go with cars, I think. I think cars would be a safe bet. Oh, could there be something else? I'm just thinking outside the box if I can. For some reason, the monorail doesn't make a noise when it goes by. I don't know why. Again, I'm on blue stack, so maybe it's just broken. Cars! Selling cars with smarm and charm. I've never heard the word smarm before. Is that an actual word? I'll throw in the undercoating for 200, no, 490 bucks. I'm grinning ear to ear, and I had a feeling he would probably be voiced because it's an older episode. And a lot of times these characters were voiced by the main cast members. Here's the final paperwork, Mr. Van Houten. Financing agreement, transfer of ownership, and of course, dealership fraud liability waivers. Are you sure a new car will really make me look more impressive? No doubt. People are sure to look at you and say, now there's a man who's not afraid to accept the first offer on a car loan. Someone from a finance department will walk you through everywhere you need to sign. I don't have a pen. No problem. What kind of pen were you in the market for? We sell all kinds. He's a snake oil salesman. Advertise crooked deals and Kirk signed financing papers. I'll throw in the undercoating for 200, no, 490 bucks. Makes you smile every single time. So advertise crooked deals. He's there somewhere, but he's obviously hiding. Gonna need you to move, please. Thank you. Yeah, I know. What? Oh, he's going to the building! Where am I? Okay, so... I think... The sign will light up. That's it. That's the sign. Nothing else. I'm just panicking. I don't know what else to say. Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm, I see him, but I'm not paying attention to him. I'm just looking at the, the building. So I think the signs light up, or at least the one 
on the building it does. Cliff's car chalet on the top right there. I think that lights up, but the one down below is just kind of standing by itself. That doesn't. The lights turn on in the inside. And Cliff, you're spinning a sign and you get bonked in the eye. Cliff's. Another character who can actually spin a sign. There's quite a few characters that do that in the game. Whether doing advertising and, and the things with the signs and stuff. Cliff is another one that we can add to the list. Oh, he's pointing too! Is that Mesmerino? Does he want a car? We get paid now, right? Uh, right? Another dope, another dollar. Cliffy, my boy, you are a sales genius. Hello, Cliff. Fat Tony! I thought we weren't supposed to meet in, you know, daylight. I have an urgent need for an automobile. Oh, can I interest you in a 2018 sedan with barely 200,000 miles on it? No. No, you cannot. He's terrified, but he's still trying to sell Fat Tony like a lemon. I'll throw in the undercoating for 200, no, 490 bucks. The automobile for which I have an urgent need for is the one I previously asked you to offload. I've already sold every car you've ever brought me, just like we agreed. And I am telling you, I need one of those cars back, Cliff. A certain individual from an organization left something, shall we say, perishable, locked in the trunk of the car in question. I'm really sorry about that, boss. I was in a rush to get home so I wouldn't miss the succession finale. Cliff search for sales records. Speaking of legs, is Cliff going to have his legs broken? I'm afraid I sold the car you're looking for. It is good that you are afraid, because fear will inspire you to retrieve it faster. I sold it very recently, so I'm sure I can get it back for you, Tony. I hope so, Cliff. You wouldn't want Legs to earn his nickname breaking yours. And you really don't want Louie to earn his nickname. What? What? What's Louie's nickname? Nuts. I'll throw in the undercoating for 200, no, 490 bucks. Thank you for meeting with me, Mr. Van Houten. As I sit on the phone, I'm prepared to make a generous offer to buy your car back. Well, if you want the car back, you're gonna have to do more than offer me money. I want you to make my wife happy. You can't possibly mean it the way it came out. I need to impress Luann, so I want you to hire me and make me your employee of the month. Phew, that's a relief. Candidly, I can't even make my wife happy. That's good to know. Now, I'm gonna have to come up with a new plan B. Cliff Award Employee of the Month? Alright, so is this gonna be a second animation? I'll throw in the undercoating for 200, no, 490 bucks. Not yet. We get paid now, right? Well, uh, right? Here you are, Kirk. Employee of the Month. See, Luann, this is a pretty big deal. Wars like this don't get given out all the time. Right, Kirk. Only every single month. Is that everything? Can we go now? Um, just one minute, honey. I need to talk to Cliff for a second. It didn't work, Cliff. I can't believe over t deception didn't work. Neither can I, but then I am a used car salesman. True. I'll throw in the undercoating for 200, no, 490 bucks. So here's the new plan. I'll be walking along, minding my own business, and you run into me. You want me to run into you with a car? Uh-huh. Sigh. I suppose I've done worse things to make a sale. But you'll give me your car back whether this works or not. Oh, it'll work. Once the Wan sees how pathetic I am, she'll remember why she married me. It's a good plan there, Kirk. I think we should go with it. Perform a hit and run. Oh, fake getting hit by a car. Okay. You're not actually gonna get hurt. Uh, 
I screwed oh. up. Oh, my leg! I can't believe you hit me with your car! Good, you're alive. Now, if you're kind signing with a car, you'll be the only one with a broken leg. Sure, but Cliff, can you keep my Employee of the Month award on your wall? You don't even work for me, Kirk. Wow, you are so pathetic. Starry-eyed, my darling Kirk. Satisfied wink. Jiminy Christmas, it actually worked. I'll throw in the undercoating for... 200, no, 490 bucks. Here's a car, Fat Tony, just like I promised. You have honored our agreement, Cliff, and you can therefore continue living with all of your leg bones intact. Opens trunk. Ah, there it is. Six loaves of my mother's homemade bread. A few days old, but still satisfying reminder of home. And I thought your perishable was going to be a dead body. Is that what you thought? I find that an offensive stereotype. You can expect a visit from my new associate, Kneecaps. Nervous gulp. Hey, Tony, why don't you just keep the car as a form of an apology? Thank you, Cliff. I like this car. It has lots of trunk space to conceal dead bodies. That's... that's great. Swindle on a customer, grab a shop for a car. Why, why is it with a K? Is it always been with a K? And Mo Man, shop for a car. And that's how you do it! And there we go. The full walkthrough for Cliff. But I am not done yet. Of course, if you've been paying attention. I'll throw in the undercoating for 200... No. Four hundred and ninety bucks. We have to see the second animation, so we'll look at all the different quests that we've got. Order new muffler is award employee of the month. Swindle another customer. Advertise crooked deals. I think we've seen that already. High taxable income, which we've definitely not seen. Twelve hours and pets are supplies for kickbacks. So to wrap this up, hide taxable income. Yeah, I know. Oh, we dig in a hole. And he covered up the hole. I wonder how much money is in there. You know, just because I'm curious, not because I actually want to steal it. Wink, wink. So yeah, Cliff is voice, which is fantastic. The quest line was actually very, very fun. Very enjoyable. Animation-wise, they're not bad. The first one is definitely a lot better than this one. Not that this one is bad by any stretch, but you know, it's pretty basic. You know, it just digs a hole, puts it in, drops it in. It's maybe four or five seconds max. At the end of the day, it is a very nostalgic classic character. So if you're interested or on the fence about it, you have the entire update to think it over. So you've got a lot of days, many weeks ahead, and I'll see you with more premium characters moving forward in this car update. And he Simpsons tap there. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see you again. On the next one. Bye everybody.